I am Dr. S.K. Vangnu, currently working as Senior Consultant Endocrinologist and Diabetologist at the prestigious Indrapras Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. There are a lot of myths and misconceptions which surrounds not only with the diabetes but related to its treatment, its complication and the management. Today we are going to really discuss and explore what is in reality, what are all those misconceptions and myths, whether they are really true or not, we will all discuss them in today's program. If you are on insulin, people think that you are having type 1 diabetes, it is a myth. That does not mean any patient who is on insulin belongs to the category of type 1 diabetes. There are many type 2 diabetic patients who are long standing type 2 diabetes where oral drugs fail to control diabetes, they have to be put on insulin for the better control of blood sugars. Any patients who has undergone acute stress, acute stress of any kind like heart attack, brain attack, patient has got fever, patient is going for surgery, patients who are pregnant going for delivery. This all group of the patient, they also require insulin for some period of time, transient insulin requirement during the acute phase or acute stress in their life. That does not mean they are type 1 diabetes because during acute illness, the patient requires insulin for the better glucose control. People think diabetes is caused by consumption of high caloric foodstuffs, aerated drinks and lot of carbs. It is a myth. Diabetes is a disease where you have a genetic predisposition of development of the insulin resistance. Only thing eating excess of calories in the form of what we call the caloric dense food items like sugary items, aerated drinks, sweets, ice cream, cold drink and chocolate, they cause you to put on weight rapidly. And the weight gain parallels with the development of the insulin resistance. As the weight increases, the patient starts getting the insulin resistance. And this insulin resistance over a period of time causes insulin deficiency. And then the patient develops diabetes. So myth is not that by eating those things you develop diabetes. The myth, the fact is that, the fact is that they causes you to put on weight and uh, is the weight gain or obesity which predispose you to develop diabetes. People have a lot of myth about the diet and uh, people think taking diet rich in carbs, carbohydrate should not be given to the all the diabetic patient. They should be, their meal should be divided of the carbide. It is a myth, a very important myth among the minds of the people, insulin is bad for you. Insulin is the elixir of life. If your body requires insulin, there is no way by which you can control your blood sugar except the insulin. A lot of people think the type 2 diabetes occurs in the adults. Again, is a big myth. Nowadays, with, with the rapid rise of type 2 diabetes in our country, with rapid transition in the lifestyle of the children, adolescents, younger individuals, we are seeing the development of type 2 diabetes in the young people. Diabetes is curable, is a big myth. Once you develop diabetes, it can't be cured, it can be only controlled. Another myth, people say, how could I develop diabetes? No one in my family is having diabetes. Again, is a myth. In fact, diabetes can occur sporadically. Sporadically means without any positive family history of diabetes. It's a very, very common perception among the minds of the people, a big myth. I can stop my medicine now because my sugar is very well controlled. Remember one thing, once you are on drug or medicines and if your sugars are under control, the moment you stop taking medicine, the next day your sugar will become high, whatever you do. As long you are taking your medicines as prescribed by your doctor, your sugar will remain under control. 
people with diabetes they come and say that is it true ki that we can't be same person we can't do the same activity as we were before having diabetes so again remember one thing a million dollar advice even if you develop diabetes it does not hinder to develop your own career you have to remain active to control your diabetes more effectively there is a myth among the minds of the people that diabetes is a communicable disease is a myth the reality or the fact is that diabetes is a non communicable disease today we have busted lot of important myths which surround in the minds of the diabetes if you still have some queries misconceptions you should try and consult your nearby doctor and remove all the misconceptions and myths in your mind what you are having so with that i conclude my session stay healthy stay safe stay informed namaste